Today we are going to be working on relating multiplication and division. In order to connect these two operations, it helps to think of number sentences in terms of an array. An array is any arrangement of figures, usually in rows and columns. Here we're looking at one example of an array where we have three rows with four counters in each row. Now if we were to write this in number sentence form for multiplication, we might show 3 times 4 equals 12. 3 is a factor, 4 is the second factor, and then 12 is the product. This shows us that we have three rows with four counters in each row for 12 counters in all. This same array can be used to think about a division sentence. If we were to consider this same array in terms of rows and the number of counters in each row, we could use it to find groups. This idea might be represented by the number sentence 12 divided by 3 equals 4. The number 12 represents the number of counters in all. 3 is the number of rows and 4 is the number in each row. And in this division number sentence, each of these numbers, the 12, the 3, and the 4, have a special term. The 12 is the dividend in this number sentence, 3 is the divisor, and 4 is the quotient. The quotient is an answer to a division problem. So in this example, we can see that the array with three rows with four counters in each row can be represented with multiplication, thinking of it as 3 times 4 equals 12, or it can be represented with division. 12 counters in all divided into 3 rows equals 4 counters in each row. Multiplication and division are inverse operations. That means they are the opposite of each other. When we look at these arrays of 16 counters, we notice that we have two rows with eight counters in each row. We can represent this idea using multiplication. Two times eight, where we have two rows with eight counters in each row, equals 16 in all. Or we can think of it as a division number sentence. 16 counters in all divided into two rows equals eight counters in each row. This idea can also be applied as we write, draw an array of our own. The instructions here ask us to draw an array for each multiplication sentence. Then we are asked to write a related division sentence. In this example, number six, they give us the multiplication sentence three times two equals six. We know that the first product, three, represents the number of rows we will need. The second product, two, represents the number of counters or objects in each row of our array. And the number six represents the product or the total number of counters we will need. We can then use this to draw an array of our own. I chose to use triangles in my array, so I arranged three rows of triangles with two triangles in each row. I then wrote the related division sentence that six counters in all divided into three rows equals two counters in each row. Let's practice that again. This next, next example gives us the multiplication number sentence four times three. Four times three equals 12. I know I will need 12 counters in all for my array. The first factor, four, tells me that I will need four, four rows of counters. And the second factor, three, tells me that I will need three counters in each row. I chose to use hearts in my array for this example. Notice that I have four rows of hearts with three hearts in each row. This same concept can be represented with the division sentence. 12 divided by 4 equals 3 can be used to represent this array because I have 12 hearts in all 
divided into four rows, which equals three hearts in each row. One last example. One times seven. The first factor, one, represents the number of rows I will have. I will have one row. The second factor, seven, represents the number of objects that will be in one row. I chose to use stars here. Notice that I have one row with seven stars in the row. This same idea can be represented with the division sentence, seven divided by one equals seven. Because I have seven stars in all, divided into one row, which equals seven stars in one row. As always, use the sample problems to practice this concept tonight. Bring any questions you might have to class, and we will add on to our learning tomorrow. See you then.